There will be seven questions on manual transmission diagnosis and repair and seven questions on manual transaxle diagnosis and repair on the test. A big difference between the manual transaxle and a rear wheel drive manual transmission is that the transaxle includes the final drive and there is no counter shaft. The rear wheel drive transmission there has an input shaft, a counter shaft, and the output shaft. The transaxle here has an input shaft and an output shaft. ASC also calls the output shaft the main shaft. There can be some confusion amongst the different manufacturers. An example for a transaxle, Honda calls the input shaft the main shaft and the output shaft the counter shaft. Do you see how there can be some confusion? ADC keeps the naming simple, input shaft, output shaft. On specific transaxle or transmission questions, the question will be specific on what you're working with. For the rest of the video, the info given about the transaxle also applies to the real wheel drive transmission. First, let's talk about noise. A chip gear can make a noise, mainly a knocking sound. A chip speed gear will make a noise on its specific shift. The fix would be to replace that gear along with the gear that is in constant mesh with. Warm bearings can make a growling noise that gets louder with an increase in speed. Each shaft has its own bearing. Bearing noise related to the transmission can come from inside the transmission or outside the transmission. We'll talk more about outside bearing noise in video number two. To find the source of the inside bearing noise, the trick is to know which gear it happens in. In this transaxle, when the vehicle was in gear, there would be an internal bearing noise. The suspects are the input shaft bearing and the output shaft bearing because both are loaded. If you shift it to neutral, the noise went away. So basically here, only the output shaft bearing is suspect because in neutral, only the input shaft bearing is spinning. It makes sense, right? Next up, synchronizers. Block synchronizers are the most common in use. Here we have the synchronizer sleeve, which is sitting on top of the hub. This brass colored object is the blocking ring. And here we have a speed gear. In this application, this is third gear. And to the right, fourth gear. The speed gear has teeth and the blocking ring also has teeth. The teeth can be called dog teeth or clutch teeth. If the teeth are severely worn, the transmission could jump out of gear. The speed gear has a cone and the blocking ring also has a cone. And these come together, they contact each other and allow the units to spin at the same speed as the sleeve is moved over to engage the gear. Constant friction between the two units causes wear. There must be a specified space between the two teeth. We call that the blocking ring clearance. Use a feeler gauge to measure it. The service limit for this one is 16 thousandths of an inch. I measured this one to about 18 thousandths of an inch. Here's a better view on this one. This one has way more space. So this one was pretty worn. If the blocking ring clearance is below specifications, there will be high effort during shifting because there is an adequate space to synchronize these two parts. There's also causes that affect multiple gears. Here, hard shifting can be accompanied by gear clash. These are a misadjusted clutch, low fluid, incorrect fluid, linkage issues, or housing misalignments, to name the important ones. Causes of jumping out of gear are worn dog slash clutch teeth, worn synchronizer sleeve splines, broken or worn detent springs, or a worn shift fork. Other issues can affect more than one gear, such as a worn transaxle mount, 
shift linkage misadjustment or misaligned clutch housing for rear wheel drive vehicles anything that can make the input shaft be out of alignment with the output shaft can make the gear pop out such as a bent input shaft a bent output shaft or a worn pilot bearing or bushing to name the important ones i'll end the video with three questions what prevents the transmission from shifting into two gears at once is it the clutch the interlock the outer lock or counter shaft a bearing noise is coming from the inside of a manual transaxle when driving and in neutral the noise disappears when the clutch is disengaged technician a says the input shaft bearing could be faulty technician b says the output shaft bearing could be faulty which technician is correct the last one is an official asc practice question Excessive brass filings are found in the fluid of a manual transmission. Which of these could be the cause? Loose main shaft bearings, loose counter shaft bearings, worn blocker rings, or broken input shaft gear teeth. See ya in video number two. We'll talk about the clutch.